Today we're going to be talking about Canada's 2019 Food Guide, which just came out a few days ago. We're going to begin by summarizing their recommendations. So what they recommend is that we eat plenty of vegetables and fruits, whole grain foods, and protein foods. They also encourage us to choose protein-based foods that are derived from plants more often. They recommend that we choose foods with healthy fats instead of saturated fat. It should come as no surprise that we are to limit highly processed foods. This does not mean that you can never eat these foods, just limit them as much as possible. When you're preparing meals and snacks, use ingredients that have the least amount of added sodium, sugars, and saturated fat. Choose healthier menu options when eating out. Make water your drink of choice. Replace sugary drinks with water whenever possible. Use food labels. This is an important point that we will demonstrate later in this video. Be aware that food marketing can influence your choices. Healthier eating habits. Take time to eat. Take notice when you are hungry and when you are full. It is not necessary that you eat if you are not hungry. If you are full, don't eat anymore. You don't need to finish everything on your plate, unlike what your mother may have taught you. Cook more often, rather than eating meals prepared commercially. Plan your meals. Involve others in planning and preparing your meals. This makes it more fun. This also helps with motivating one another. We're going to now look at how to look at nutritional facts, this portion of the food packaging label. It's very important that you look at the nutritional facts as opposed to the claims that are often stated on the front of the packaging which may be prominent and they may say all kinds of things which could be very misleading such as low sodium, low calories, no added sugar, no preservatives. Some of those statements are actually very misleading. But if you look at the nutritional facts, you will get the most accurate types of information. The first thing to look at is serving size. This is very important and that represents the amount that you need to consume in order to ingest these following nutrients. Now, the reason serving size is so important is we will use a hypothetical bag of chips. Now, let's say that that hypothetical bag of chips lists under nutritional facts that it has 50 calories. However, if the serving size says two chips, that means if you eat two chips, you have now consumed 50 calories. And that's why it's very, very important to first look at serving size. The amount of calories is fairly um, self-evident and usually the largest thing that you will see there. And then there's a breakdown. First they list the fats and then they state the total amount of fat and break it down into saturated fat and trans fat here. Uh, in this particular product there's no cholesterol. This tells you how much sodium there is. Then there are total carbohydrates. Now with respect to total carbohydrates, what's important is to look at the total and then to subtract the dietary fiber. So if this has 37 total carbohydrates, then you subtract 4 grams. This actually contains 33 grams of carbohydrates because dietary fiber is not absorbed or metabolized. Now the other important thing to look at is how much sugar is in there. And you want the least amount of your carbohydrates to come from the sugar and the most amount to come from your dietary fiber. It also lists protein and it lists um, what other vitamins and other things might be contained in this particular product. Now if you look at this percent daily value, what this means is how much 
of a nutrient in a serving of food contributes to the daily diet. And typically they're looking at a daily diet of about 2,000 calories just in terms of general nutritional advice. So what they're saying is that if you consume this product or a serving size here, two-thirds of a cup, then um, you have consumed 10% of your daily allotted fat and 7% of your allotted sodium and 13% of your allotted carbohydrates and um, it doesn't list that here for the protein. So this is the basics of how to read the nutritional facts. Thank you for joining us as we discussed Canada's new 2019 food guide.